Yo, Orpheus, I haven't seen you in a while. You were looking a little different today. You mind passing me one of those drinks that you have right there, man? My name is Phoenix, once a novelist. But after losing my memory, I couldn't complete any valuable- Wait! Whoa, Orphy, what did you just give me? Okay, so maybe that thing doesn't really happen often, but let's just imagine that I did lose my memory and I somehow forgot how to play at Entity 5. Over two years of game knowledge completely gone in an instant. What would I do to learn Identity 5 as quickly and as effectively as possible again? The main problem I would have would be that I would have completely forgotten how to kite. Kiting is based on instinct and experience, but mainly is based on map knowledge. If you know where every pallet is, where to kite, and where to transition to after you've used an area up to the fullest, then you have a massive leg up over the other survivors. If you want to master the art of kiting, knowledge of the maps is an absolute must. To build your map knowledge, the best way to start is by playing solo in the custom section of the game. This will give you a chance to explore each map in detail, from learning the basic layout to discovering the secrets each map holds. With this knowledge, you'll be able to navigate the most difficult maps with confidence, and you'll be a step ahead of those who don't know their way around. This is one of the reasons that a lot of players dislike or perform poorly on maps such as Golden Cave, White Sand Street Asylum and even the newest map Dark Woods, because honestly few have taken the time to get to really know their way around. But it also helps you immensely if you plan on playing Hunter, as you can block off strong kiting routes before the survivor even gets a chance to kite in that direction. Hunting isn't about following behind the survivors, but it's about forcing the survivor to kite in the direction, rotation and and way that will shorten their kite the fastest. After acquiring the basics of map layouts, it's time to take on a bigger challenge. Now I'm ready to fire up the easy hunter bot mode and see what I can do. Uh, yes, I am completely aware that it's easy just to do that if you just run in a straight line against them. I know, I know, don't worry. As a beginner, I'm sure I'm going to crash into a few things and get terror shocked at windows during my first attempts. But I am learning with each and every mistake. As I get better, I can increase the difficulty until I'm playing against the Nightmare Hunter bots. Of course, the Nightmare Hunter bots are very difficult to kite against, especially for beginners, yet this would challenge me as a player and it will make playing quick matches against other beginner hunters feel like a breeze in comparison. I would do the exact same thing for Hunter. I would play around with the hunters, learn their abilities in custom matches until I find a hunter I like the feel of. This would probably default to characters like Ripper or Nightmare, as these are some of the easiest hunters to play as a beginner. I would also play against some hard mode bots, get a bit of experience of what it feels to get insta owl protected, cypher rushed and much more. And all of this practice would help me get more and more familiar with the movement in the game and the maps in general. Now it's time I move on to playing against some real players. Quick match will be my go to as I can feel secure in the knowledge that I won't be judged too harshly. To make sure that I'm getting the most out of the experience I'm going to pick characters that don't have easy to use escape abilities, instead I'll be forced to hone my my kiting skills and be less dependent on abilities to save me. Over time, this would speed up my kiting knowledge and would put me far ahead of those players that depend solely on their character to survive. The survivors that I would pick would probably include Seer and Novelist, as this would require me to kite looking backwards that's a great skill, Professor as his ability is easy to mess up and offers no protection if you mess up his abilities, and Lawyer as he would give me more awareness of the hunter's spawns but offering me no real advantage against a hunter in a kite, apart from no terror shocks I guess. But Phoenix you say, I have no money in the game, so how would I unlock all of these characters to play them? Easy. I would just follow my own how to get rich in identity 5 guide and follow all the steps there to make sure I can maximize my in-game clues and fragments as a free to play player. Another thing I would do in quick match would be to go out of my way to get the first kite or to get as much time with the hunter as possible. Yes, it can feel annoying to get knocked down again and again in seconds, but with each mistake I make and each place a hunter tricks me or catches me, I would learn something new and I would get a better grip of the game. I would also also probably perform quite well already against those beginner hunters as my mechanical and map practice I did earlier with the nightmare bots would translate easily into a game against an inexperienced hunter. I might even carry a couple of the matches, you never know. One of the best ways to quickly become a master at any character in a game is to watch pro players or fanatics of those characters as there are tons of amazing tricks you can do that can help you in niche circumstances. It was only the other day that I learned this cool antiquarian trick from a player called Milky Knight. The hunter now comes 
can't terror shock you as you're going down that slide and it wastes so much time for the hunters they just have to sit there and wait for you to go down the slide so they can go down the stairs to follow you. All of these tricks will help you improve as a player and will give you more inspiration for other tricks and uses for those abilities. If you aren't sure which survivor you should pick next or you're a new player and you want to know which survivors will help you win more often then you need to check out this video over here and see which ones I think are best for you.